The project has been working in accordance with the laws and rules of government and in line with the relevant departments of both zonal and Warada offices. We work both within the government structure on the one hand, but also we strengthen the uh, informal or so-called traditional institutions which have been there with communities since uh, the existence of that uh, particular society in that particular area. Before implementing the activities, the project agreement was submitted to the responsible government body. The target districts were also selected together with the government line departments. In the zone, there is the already established development task force, and this task force has discussed the goals and the overall management arrangement of the project. From the beginning, we talked together with the government. We looked at the statistics in the area uh, to show the areas which are hit hard because we wanted to go to the areas where we know that we'll be able to make a difference. There's no point of going to a place which, uh, which is not affected by the disaster. Before engaging in the implementation of the project, a launching workshop was organized with the purpose of familiarizing the project and shared responsibilities to relevant stakeholders. At this workshop, representatives of the government and communities showed up and provided their reflections on the implementation approach and procedures. The organization had undertaken planning with relevant government departments before engaging in the implementation of this activity. Project launch we are going to March 14. We are going to go to the government. 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 We are going to the project has empowered the community to plan, budget, and implement the activities in a very transparent way. As a result, a sense of ownership deepens in the community. This also contributes to the sustainability of the activities, output, and outcomes of the project. The approach by itself created the ownership, the ownership of the community. Whenever you go in, 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 in all of our targeted capitalists, the community speaks about those projects at their own because the, the, it is their, uh, the whole process is managed by them, the, the selection is done by them, the final decision is given by them. What we did is only facilitating. We come with the budget, we come with the idea. I don't know what I said, but I don't know what I both the communities and government representatives are happy with the intergenerational approach the project utilized to implement its activities. They like ELEAP's targeting procedures and are happy with the targeted beneficiaries and activities. Garechufa, namu dattaba jar salafa, namu dattaba kauri inkam, kauri indika, yete akasi nukar kar stochani, nukar karani, kar kar skense, kar kar skanam beek. Guddo galat galchaf, galat kauri kanu findanda u. Previously, Morena Zone was known for its rangeland, but currently, different unwanted bushes are invading the area and replacing the rangeland. The government has planned watershed management to rehabilitate the degraded land in the area, and an Ely project has also been supporting the government in this area. Uh, the community have decided, based on the national role, 
and the capacity they are going to do, they, they set uh, some uh, uh, bylaw, and uh, based on that bylaw, they have been working for, for the past two months on this water uh, shed management program. Rangeland na itefutro aptelimatin yeminisara lewlet negerno. Andanya le kapt arbioch insisat arbioch sari na uhai genyal bezi. Lewlet negerja irsha miar suzo chalu. Biza tarara lai wa meretusti ege bauha edo irsha ulaim utethi ametal. Selezi lewlet tu negeroch itefutro aptsera isera lezi sera medegev. Ini mengkistin ikut di mana kefno, ini berada sebelum filagau itu mana kefno, beli no abren ini seorang yang lain. Mari nu rabbi ajar, muka nu rabbi ajar. Bisaan pada rata nu apa ni jiran ini, kan aku pun jiran bar arah lapt itu nduri on dim tu seorang. Arah wan ni sih naga nu rata itu bisa iya kan tu nunan nai. Buat garis raga orang lewa ranya ta, yo miso mada lagi arah ni lewa murid nu ta. Ani ni akhirat kiat filakisi, ilmu ti yalle inta amaja dah nak kiat kiat. Yo ha kanuman nuti deh mantaiyo, nua yoga nak nak kanjiran gan tu fuji jiran bala finna. Amo isi nu ha rakwa gan get, bisa angkeng kapada nui tifte. Lafte entak ok ayat ara di di tara rasa nu to cite. Nama sila imbul imbul cite yuk galatoma jedani galatoma. The evaluating team, comprised of various experts from relevant government departments evaluated the activities of the project at the field level and confirmed that the organization has done outstanding work for the people and the area. Ina fani juga macam cilek tu, dari jenis itu ni darah rupi korba itu ada mesti jasa jasa tu mana tinap tu, udah ragam mande. The government representatives found the work of Help Age International a welcome addition to development efforts. Project ini nak kasih kau, project ini aku Help Age ini wujud cah jatuh kau, faida gudda kan umat ke naf, because aset ini sa, kabe ni ni kau, hori ni ni hori ni kau, engkau kau roti cuci. So project ini kasi transformasi ni kian negal mangau, karo transformasi kian fulan gau, yohan gal misa target sisa zon dahuf buah kuda yohan shori kuda tabat itu. Dira district is located 665 kilometers away from Addis Ababa and 100 kilometers from the capital of Borena Zone, Yabelo. Help Age International, in collaboration with the local communities and government, selected two of the most marginalized and remote kebeles of Dira, Warida, where development activities were the most minimal. In these kebeles, two major activities restocking and rangeland management were implemented. As part of restocking, the project purchased and distributed goats of a high quality breed for the most affected households. <laughs> These beneficiaries were selected by the communities under the facilitation of the Intergenerational Club. Each beneficiary received a total of 10 goats, 9 female and 1 male goat. <laughs> As the knowledge of the community was the base of the implementation of the project, the communities 
were empowered to select and purchase the type of breed that best fit with the local climatic conditions and at the same time was very productive. During the selection of the goat breed, the beneficiaries reflected that they needed the she-goat from Teltele area. The beneficiaries and members of the intergenerational clubs reasoned that Teltele has weather conditions similar to the target localities where this restocking activity was undertaken. The Teltele breed can be easily adapted to the target area with no difficulty. The beneficiaries and other segments of the population explained their previous experience in such a way that people who bought goats for rearing from Teltele benefited from their good quality. It was with this justification that the communities, especially the beneficiaries, preferred female goats to be purchased from the Teteli area. However, the experts of the government disagreed with the beneficiary's interest. They explained that it was better for the beneficiaries if only the Borina breed from the locality were selected, purchased, and restocked. They justified that firstly, this would protect the Borina breed from disappearance. And secondly, the Borina breed is much more productive and can survive in the climatic conditions of the particular target Kebeles and villages. But the people resisted this justification and insisted the project purchase the breed they required the most. Government staff that was against the preference of the communities are now convinced by the choice of the people and have come to believe in the knowledge and experience of these local communities. After investigation, it was found that none of the restocked goats died, 
showing the usefulness of the experience and knowledge of the communities in selecting the most appropriate breeds for production. The restocked goats were very fast in adapting the climatic conditions of the area. Some of the restocked goats have even delivered offspring and the beneficiaries have started milking them and using the milk for their family members. Dirijiti khawari injir elfe jin tulle nagai, raji sille nagai, walse kajel, rabu kajel, hayokam, robe lagi ay, robe lagi ay. This is Mr. Zaleke Dawa. He is now an 89 year old man. He was born and grew up in Oromia region, in Borena zone, in the vicinity of Tukwa. Mr. Zaleke is a father of four sons and two daughters. He also has 34 grandchildren as well. Mr. Zaleke used to be a proficient farmer and like today. Unfortunately, the area where Mr. Zeleka lives in get hit by famine at least twice in a year. At his youth age, Mr. Zeleka used to overcome the effects caused by the famine and manage to sustain the life of his children to become efficient adults. Mr. Zeleka has struggled to overcome the ups and downs of his life until the famine that showed up three years ago. However, the famine that came into existence three years ago was totally unbearable for Mr. Zeleka. All the cattle that Mr. Zeleka possessed vanished due to the cruel famine and life became extremely difficult for him. As a result, there was literally nothing that he could do about it. He then started to live a life accompanied with fear and hopelessness. Getting worried and being sad become common phenomenon in the life of Mr. Zelig. Like the old good days, Mr. Zeleka could wake up early in the morning and perform duties in the farm. Instead, he spent his day from dawn to dusk chatting with a friend about different issues. Though Mr. Zeleka was successful in upbringing his children to become self-sufficient individuals his children are not helping him as they are focused in growing and caring for their family only
Mr. Zalaga is not receiving any kind of help from his children and as a result life has become extremely difficult for him. July 8, 2013 become a decisive day for Mr. Zelleke. It marked the end of his hopelessness situation and bloomed the beginning of a new chapter. What was heard on this specific day was something that transformed his future life. It paved a way for of a brand new beginning of life with a well-conducted effort in identifying, recruiting, and selecting the poorest of poor by Hellpage International. I was Mr. Zeleka was able to join the program as beneficiary. He was allowed to join the restocking program where Mr. Zeleka was given goats to sustain his life and subsequently was able to perceive a bright hope in his life. Mr. Zeleka is extremely delighted by what the non-governmental organization of Helpage International has done for him. He testifies that he had started to live a relatively better life now.